Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to what is going to be uh, the first five minute video, um, brief video, I should say, to probably, some of these will definitely go over five minutes because it's just what I do. Uh, but my plan is here is to, to challenge myself to upload these videos to YouTube every single day. And what I plan on bringing to you is just things that basically pop up in my head, whether that's the, the, the philosophy, science, or, or spirituality uh, stuff that I go through. Little tidbits of information that I can share briefly, uh, but then also share parts of my life and the journey that I'm on through these videos. So it's just a quick little snapshot of my life and the things that I, I think about on a daily basis um, and you know, it's that, that perpetual state of thought that I get in and overthinking and overanalyzing bloody silly little ideas and concepts like uh, when dogs jump into a elevator, do they think they're teleporting somewhere else? Do they think it's this magical room that they go in and they just appear someone else? Because obviously they don't have the ability to conceive the concept of uh, what an elevator actually is and, and what it does to us, or it does for us, I should say. So just little random things like that that I'll share along the way. But um, what I want to start with is some fear journaling. Um, so uh, voicing our fears, whether we do that, the way that I'm about to do it with you uh, or writing it down on paper or just, just even talking about it in, you know, whether you want to do that to like on your own or whether you want to do that with, share it with friends or family, your partner or whoever it might be. It's good for us to actually try to articulate the things that we are fearful of uh, and, and putting them out in, in, into the world, into the universe, because it, it is a release of energy. Uh, like, you know, we, we live in an energetic universe and having this sort of stuff kept up inside of us actually creates a, 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 an energy within you that you will hold within your system. Uh, so by voicing it, by getting it out, you're actually releasing that energy out into the universe and you're not holding on to it. And by articulating it as well, like, you know, it's not just a, a thought that sits in your head. It, by, by articulating it in a way, you are working through it within yourself as well. Um, and I think that that's, that's just as important as getting that energy out there. I mean, that's why I love writing is because it allows me to articulate all of these crazy thoughts that I think all the time. Um, so uh, for now, for instance, like, you know, my, 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 my greatest fear has always been my, um, my my fear of power like you know and, and it comes down to my fear of money as well so you know m money money can equip you know um, equate to to power and uh, there's a there's a quote that I love from I, I believe it was Abraham Lincoln um, he said any man can handle adversity to test a man's true worth give him power and that is a perfect summarization of my fear, um, is the person that I would be if I get fear, so, uh, get fear, if I get power, I should say. Um, you know, we, we see uh, so many people who get, get into to, to states of power and then all of a sudden they're, they're just corrupt because uh, it's such a powerful force for us to have said power and if your character isn't up to standard then you're going to have all of these underlying issues and things that you haven't dealt with and and, and bad uh bad states of emotion or or whatever it might be that will actually arise because you have this power and, and you, you don't know what to do with it and you know when your ego takes over then it's easy for us to to take that 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 power and, and use it in, in un beneficial ways to us or all the greater good of the world. Obviously power, it can be a very beautiful thing, but it's going to, uh, definitely going to test you and your, your character. Um, so just, just be mindful of that and give that some thought. Um, but that, that, that's my fear. Uh, it, as I have a fear of, of all of that, that underlying shit that, that is from the past and past experience and, and then, you know, just, just survival mechanisms essentially for, for myself that when I get into a state of power that they're going to arise because I haven't dealt with them. But on the flip side of that, when I get to a state of power, uh, and this is, this is a realization that I've had, is it's going to take time for me to reach that sort of a state where all of that is going to actually come into play. Well, they're, they're in play now, but just at a lesser level. But 
when I get to a position of power of, of um, notoriety, um, infamy, whatever it might be. But um, when when I get to that state, it's going to take time and, and it's going to take work for me to get there. And the person that I need to become to to get into that sort of a position is going to be the type of person that uh, I guess has dealt with a lot of that crap that that I have still got to process and deal with. You know, there's there's a lot there. So I'm just slowly unpacking it all and working through it, and then and, and dancing with the devil on a regular basis. But uh, I'm making improvements every single day, and that's um, that's something that I can definitely recognise, and it's it's something that that shows. You know, there's progression every single day. So even though that is my greatest fear. Uh, I, I also recognize that I'm not going to be there instantly overnight. So the person that I'll become when I get to that point is going to be a very different person to who I am today. So it's a fear. I recognize that. But then I also recognize the path and the um, the steps that I'll, I'll be taking before I get there. So what is your greatest fear? Um, you know, let me know. Send me comments, DMs, slide into those DMs, whatever it might be. Uh, but yeah, just just I'm I'm very genuinely interested in in what your your fear is. If you've given it any thought, um, or if you're even going to bring this on as a practice, you know, it's something great to start every single day. Set yourself a challenge for maybe thirty days, two weeks, three weeks, whatever it might be. Set yourself a standard every single day that this is going to be one of the first things that you do in the morning, whether it's writing whether it's recording yourself like this, because this is very difficult for us to do, um, or whether it's just verbalizing it into the world somehow, somewhere. But make that a challenge to bring yourself into a consistency within this, and you'll be amazed. Just do it. Five minutes. doesn't take long. Um, time yourself, and then just talk or write for a minimum of five minutes and see what comes up. Work through it. If you stop and pause, that's all good, but just work. Um, and then just let that flow out and yeah, you'll be amazed at what comes out. So on the flip side of those fears, um, I like to cap it off with gratitudes because obviously bringing up fear that that is a negative, um, can be perceived as a negative emotion and not that it's necessarily negative in itself, but we, we perceive it as a very negative emotion. Um, but to, to round that out and to bring us back into a, I guess a higher level of consciousness or awareness, um, Bring in some gratitude. You know, gratitude is something that we should be practicing every single minute of every single day if we can. But a great practice is to just every single morning, just bring in three gratitudes for the day, no matter how big or how small it might be. I've been very grateful for coffee in the past. Like, you know, that's something that's that's material, but it, it fill, fills me up uh, with, with joy and I enjoy a nice warm cup of coffee in the morning. Um, so, you know, it can be small or it can be large. So today... The things that I am grateful for, uh, the people that I am surrounded by. I have a lot of beautiful people in my life and I'm very grateful for every single one of them and every single part of my life that they impact. Um, my ability to do this, uh, my, my love and passion to do this as well, um, that's, that's, that's massively uh, something that I'm massively grateful for, being able to share myself with you guys and even having the capacity to do that. God bless technology for it. So there's a little bonus gratitude in there. Um, I'm, I'm going to wrap that all up into the same one. But I'm um, genuinely bloody grateful that I get the opportunity to do this um, and, and share with you guys because I know that somewhere along the lines this is going to, to impact somebody. And that's uh, everything, every single reason why I do what I do. Um, and the third one is simply just the air around us, being able to breathe. Um, I did some pretty intense breath work yesterday that um, you know gave me some beautiful guidance and, and self-realization as well. Um, so just breathing is is just something that we obviously take for granted because it's something that we we unconsciously do every single day. Uh, but it's it's such a powerful tool that that we all have access to. Uh, and yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm bloody grateful for it because at the end of the day, if I wasn't breathing, I'd be dead. So I wouldn't be able to get to do this with you guys. Um, but that wraps it up. Uh, as always, going to go five minutes, especially for the first video. But um, 
I just wanted to get this done. I'll post this later today. Uh, and if you have any comments, any feedback, as always, sing out. But I'm going to be challenging myself, let's say six days a week, because uh, I, I do try to keep my Sundays to, to myself. So I might do it every now and then, um, but we'll see. So a minimum six days a week, I'll be bringing in short little videos. And um, yeah, I hope this one brought you something and keen to, to take you along for a journey. So thank you very much. That's it. Wrapping up for the day. What are your fears? What are your gratitudes? Um, and I hope you all have a bloody splendid Monday. And as always, much love and namaste.